Hey, what's up you guys? And what is going on? Welcome back to another I just created an NFL player on a rugby video game vi video. Yeah, does that makes yeah, no that makes sense. Um in the previous one we, we made Tom Brady. We made the GOAT of, of the NFL. We made the GOAT of American football. The six time Super Bowl winner who is now at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tom Brady. We put him at scrum half. Um, I don't know if that was a mistake or not because the fact is is his awareness was just not there. You know, he's meant to be at the base of a ruck, passing it pretty much every time, except he kept on going into the ruck and getting stuck in there. And I thought, you know what, I've, I'm thinking we do want these players to actually know what they're doing on the field so that they do, you know, do what we want to see them do on the field, or what I want to see them do on the field. So, so with that being said, we're moving out one place. We're moving out to the, the number 10, or the first 5 8th. He's the playmaker. The 9 gives it to the 10. It's the 10's job to look up and decide what to do. He's either going to be running a move with the back line, he's going to be kicking the ball, he's going to be passing it, possibly even looking back on the inside for an inside ball. You know, the playmaker, the number 10, is basically the quarterback of the game of rugby. It's just that, you know, not only does he have to just throw, he has to run, he has to kick, and he has to tackle. Holy shit, man, he has to tackle. Not only when you're on offense, you're going to be the first one off of the ruck, but if you're on defense, you're also going to be basically the first or second one off of the ruck. So that means that if the offense is coming towards you, you as the first 5 eighth are going to be looking up, you know, numbering off how many attackers versus how many defenders we've got, and you're going to be marking someone. You're going to be making lots of tackles as a first 5 eighth. With that being said, I decided Tom Brady did not have the physical attributes to play number 10, so I put him at number 9. But a player who does have the physical attributes to play number 10, and in fact, we're going to have three players in this position. Three players. The first one is Christian McCaffrey, which you've actually already seen. Um, I made his player and I put him through a game. You know, those videos I, I didn't quite like because I, I'm not I'm not talking, I'm not giving any of my input. It is literally just a screen recording of the game that I then put up. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed those. These ones are a bit more interactive because I'm actually making the player on camera with you guys and then putting him into a game. So, today we're talking about the first 5 8th. We've done Christian McCaffrey, we've got two more. The first one we're going to do is Lamar Jackson. And the second one we're going to do is Patrick Mahomes. He was the Super Bowl MVP, he's just signed a 10 year deal, his name is being thrown around everywhere, it doesn't matter if you're in the, the world of American football or any other sport, you know, that deal that's just been signed for 10 years has, 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 has gone worldwide, it's gone viral. And for good reason, he's just signed for half a billion fucking dollars. So anyways, this video is going to be Lamar Jackson, the next one's going to be Patrick Mahomes. And from there, we move out another position in the back line, to the second 5 eight. And the player that is going to be playing second 5 eight is none other than Saquon Barkley. So it's going to go Brady, well, it's going to go Derek Henry at the back of the scrum. Between his legs, Brady's going to pick it up as the scrum half. He's going to fire it off to Lamar Jackson, who's then going to decide what he wants to do, he might go for a run, he might kick, but if he does pass it, he's going to pass it off, and uh, the guy that's going to be catching it on the burst, at pace, hitting holes, is Saquon Barkley. Anyways guys, it's time to get into this. Today's video is Lamar Jackson. Let's do it. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it, like me, wow. Please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I'm hoping, and I don't... I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be. I'm hoping Jackson is in there as a name that the commentators will call. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Okay. Now we look at his stats. So, like I've mentioned in the previous video, um, I've got stats from the NFL website, and I've also got stats from their Madden 20 profile. And with that being said, Lamar Jackson is, at the moment, 23. Um, right, right footed, nationality, we're gonna go, oh, wrong way, um, USA. We're gonna go um, fly half, 
And we're going to go fly half for the sevens as well. Now, attributes. This is where it gets interesting. That is the preset scrum half statistics. This is the preset fly half statistics. And if we have a quick look, I mean, what changes? Basically, shit, I'd have to say the passing goes down slightly. And really, the only thing that goes up is kicking, which is understandable, and a bit of strength. They've got 25 strength. What the fuck? How much strength is Lamar Jack? Well, he's only got 61 strength. And we're going to keep it consistent. All right, guys, here we go. Fitness. Shit. I'd have to say 90. Speed. He has 96. Acceleration. Oh man, this guy's gonna be. Yeah, this is why I. This is why I wanted to create <laughs> Lamar Jackson. Although he probably could play in any position on the field. Um, aggression, aggression. I don't know. 80. Agility. Well, we're gonna go 95. That is his Madden agility rating. Breaking tackles. <laughs> well, we all know how good he is at that. So we're gonna go 85. Tackling. I've actually never seen him tackle, although I think he's, you know, he's pretty, he's tough enough. We're going to go 50. Passing, he needs a good pass. He's a quarterback. He's going to have a good pass. We're going to go 85. Offloading, basically just a small pass. Um, we're going to go 85. Kicking. Now, I want to keep this consistent with what he would actually be like. If he's a number 10, he needs a certain amount of kicking. We're going to bring it down to 50. 50, honestly, because have you seen Lamar Jackson kick a ball? I haven't. Um, catching. Yeah, we don't want you dropping those balls out in the back line. So we're going to go 85. I think you've definitely got 85 catching. Strength. What's this? 61, was it? Yep. 61. Mental agility. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take the awareness statistic from Madden and I'm going to share it between mental agility and discipline. Right? So he's 92 awareness. And if we have a baseline of 50, we've got 42 additional points. We've got 42 additional points. Divide that by two. That's 21 each. So we've got 71 mental agility and 71 discipline because they are playing a completely different game. Now, jumping. You know what? Um, jumping doesn't really matter unless you're in the lineup, but we will have a look at Lamar. Have a look at his results from pre-draft measurables. Ah, oh, he didn't do the, he didn't do any jumps, which makes sense really. Okay, that's fine. I know he is pretty fucking good at jumping. We're gonna go 70. Um, head. Here we go. Where are you, mate? Fuck, that's a big neck. Uh, <laughs> okay. Not so much the head, but the neck. Now, if I was getting paid for this and I was actually creating a game, I mean, I'd be here for hours trying to get it right, but, you know, that's not the case. Neck angle. Neck width. This will be a good one. This is what's going to change it. From a random to Lamar Jackson. Is that you, bro? Yeah, that's you. <laughs> you got pretty pretty fucking decent traps, I gotta say. Um, we're gonna go defined for sure and mid range. Okay. All right, complexion is what we need to do first. So what do we got here? I mean, I'm gonna go that one. Face. The eyebrows are certainly on a on a, on an angle here. I'm thinking, thinking that one. Brown eyes. Headgear? No, no, no. Okay, now we're starting to get somewhere. 
crew cut mid length. What do we got mid length? No, no, we're not going mid length. Crop cut. Um, hair color, we're going to go black. Facial hair is black and it's a little thing down the bottom. There he is. Now, let's get this hair right. I'm taking it from the Madden, no, sorry, I'm taking it from the NFL profile photo. We need some curls here, man, we need some curls. Where's the curls at, man? <laughs> that literally is the closest thing we're probably gonna get. Now, mid-length. No, 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 no. Those are some rugby haircuts, if I ever did see some. Crew cut. This might be all right. Oh God, is that him? You know what? Who fucking gives a shit? <laughs> Probably not you. Are we gonna go crew? Yeah, if he shaved his head, he's got a decent hairline. I think that's him. I think that's him. What are you gonna do? Okay, now. 212 pounds or 96 kg and 6 foot 2 or 188 centimeters. So 96 and 188. Boom. Torso. It's kind of skinny, but he's definitely shredded. So we're going to go small stomach, definition, defined, spine. We're going to go arched. Arms. Um, is he as big as Cam Newton? That's what I want to know. No, he's 96 kg and he's six foot three. So we'll give him a bit of size. Bit of size, not too much. Legs. Yeah, they have a bit of size. Um, yeah, don't worry about that. Right. This is how we're going to see him on the field. And the way that we're going to do that is by putting him in purple boots and purple sleeves and it's worked quite well so far tattoos he probably does have tattoos but we're not going to worry about them and that my friends is Lamar Jackson <laughs> sorry I just spat everywhere um fuck what's his hairstyle like now oh shit he's got the dreadlocks doesn't he he's got the dreadlocks It's not easy, man. I don't know. What do you do? Mid. Ah, you know what? We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to do a Derek Henry. Or are we? Wow. This is uh. This is harder than I thought. Nick Minute. It's definitely harder than I thought, and you know what? We're gonna give him a bit of length. We're gonna go with this one. Save. <laughs> and that's him. Okay, so now what we do, as you guys know, we go to teams. We go edit team. In the last game we played as Tom Brady. Today we're gonna be playing as Team Lamar Jackson. We're gonna chuck him in the deep end, as I said in the description box. And we're gonna see just how he goes in the world of rugby, playing number 10 will, with all of those attributes. He's probably going to be the fastest player on the field, to be fair. Which is going to be really interesting to see what happens. So, with that being said, let's go to the squad. Uh, we're going to take out Tom Brady from the number 9 position. We're going to put back in Aaron Smith. And we're going to recruit our latest creation, at a 92 star rating, age 23, Lamar Jackson. There he is. We're going to grab him. We're going to put him in at number 10 and take Dan Carter off the field. Dan Carter, the legend. Uh, what that means is that we also need to set, we also need to set Lamar Jackson as the kicker and the 
play kicker, which means kicking within general play. And with that being said, it's time. It's, it's time. So guys, sit back, relax, and let's get the show on the road. We've got Team Lamar Jackson versus the USA. We've got a match played at Franklin's Garden, once again. Uh, it's a fine day, it's a 10 minute match, and it's played under normal rugby rules. With that being said, let's go. The All Blacks won back the World Championship in 2011, winning back the title that they first won in 1987, beating France 8-7 in a very tight and nerve-wracking final. Incidentally, it was France that New Zealand had beaten in the 1987 final. The All Blacks have to be the clear favourites going into this. They are clearly in a different class. And joining me is former All Black Justin Marshall. I expect we'll see a pretty one-sided match here, Justin. Should be some good quality rugby. It's pretty good atmosphere here, and the fans are expecting a good game. The All Blacks prepare to do the hucker. The crowd loved that. The stadium is electrified. Just waiting for the ref here. Then we can go to kick off. And play begins. We're underway. Messel waits. Taken down there. I think it's there for New Zealand. Aaron Smith has it now. The Alamu sidestepping his way through. Good contest, but it's still theirs. Aaron Smith looks for options. Back he goes. The All Blacks looking to recycle this. Owen Franks picks it up. Conrad Smith back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. They're getting some momentum from that phase play. That'll knock the wind out of him. This is a more. The ball controlled at the back. Here's the pass. Strong defence. He's trying to turn it over quickly. Holland gets the crowd on their feet with that run. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. Banks grabs it out of the back. Well played. Good ball retention here. Edwards gets the ball away. Powerful defence. No stopping him there. It's still alive on the attacking side. Stringing together some phases, but the defence holding pretty strong. Release. The ref wants him to let go of it. A real field position opportunity here. Advantage. It's been lost forward. They'll play advantage here. He just took his eye off the ball slightly and then just knocked it on. Breaks through. Paul stops him now. Your Blacks looking to hold on to this. Nonu feeds it off. Smith gets the ball to his support player. It's been brought back for the scrum. First Crouch. scrum in the game. Find. Set. Aaron Smith puts it in. And a good battle going on here. USA have stolen this. Ref says ball is out. Crashing run into the line. And he's pounded into the ground. And it looks like it might be a turnover. Barry takes some stopping in that run. Back inside. Holland crunches his way up. Oh, I'm sure he didn't mean that, but he's hit him high. And that's a penalty. Hit him high there. Well, the referee could give him a yellow card here.
This is very kickable for him. This is as easy a kick as you'll get all day. Edwards with the three. Did very well there in the build-up. Jackson kicks off. Abbott takes in the kickoff. What a good catch. They were coming up fast. And the ball's turned over. Good turnover. Excellent stuff. Yep, I agree. Kieran Reid, decent metres made on that charge. They might still have it. Kevin Mialamu delivers it on. Lovely footwork there. Nonu charges towards the try line. And he's over for their first try. They finally got him into some space and he showed us just how brilliant he can be. Pure entertainment. What a great try. So powerful, Ma Nonu. Seems to break the line at will. You can see his pace here. It is remarkable. No one could catch him. But it was a great pass that set him up. Couldn't agree more. Chance to add another two here. A real study of concentration here as he looks to convert the try from right out wide. Not a great kick. It looks like this will go wide. And it's just away. Not an easy angle to kick from. short Richie McCaw to secure this putting his foot down now up and over halfway now it's there Brody Rotella has it out the back Franks makes a telling run now they drag him down and they'll take the line out makes his way back on. Nicely rested after his 10 minutes on the sideline. <laughs> Lost against the throw. Pass goes inside there. Smith puts the foot down. That'll knock the wind out of him. He's trying to turn it over quickly. The ball's being contested. Free in that tackle. Nice defense. The time throw to you tell. Charges towards the try line. Well, the chance is gone. Just when they look like scoring. Referee playing advantage here. Knocking that ball on cost Ouch. them a good chance to score. Five. They won't be happy with themselves. Set. Your black with the putter. battle going on here. Jackson, not quite so easy to put away. Only metres away from the try line. The All Blacks lead at half-time, 5-3. The All Blacks have the lead at the break, but it's a tight game so far. So, half-time here, and such a close match so far, a real surprise. Just a bit messy so far, Justin. I think so, yeah. Good work being done by the forwards, and you can see that in the hit-up figures. And you can see in those hit-ups that they're not afraid to carry the ball forward. The kickoff snapped up. Good defence. Now he gets the ball away. Driven hard into the turf. 
wrong defense. He's having a go at the ball. There's some real force in this defense. Edwards takes it. Now taken to the ground in a good tackle. That defense has been very strong so far. Powerful defense. Butcher takes him in a nice tackle. Banks gets the ball away. Superb technique in that tackle. Davis is absolutely smashed. Picks it up, has a dart at the defence. So, they're making progress, but still some work to do here. He kicks deep into the opposition half. Gives it short. Lovely tackle. He gets crunched to the ground. He's been hit high and looks in some pain. And the penalty is given. Oh yeah, that was a high one. He'll be looking for touch here. And he's banged it into touch. American blind out. Banks takes it nicely. And he's shaken up by that one. Barry is absolutely smashed. He's trying Grace. to turn it over quickly. That'll knock the wind out of him. The ball's being contested. Take him down. Right block. Goes no further, taken down. Reed gets it away. He pushes the pass further. He drags it over halfway. He's having a go at the ball. Aaron Smith feeds it off now. Ma'anonu going for a big run there. That's two tries in the match now for him. What a move to take them over the line. And aren't they ecstatic? Exceptional skill, superb try. He's just such a gifted footballer, Ma Nonu. Great stuff there. Yes, you're absolutely right. Yeah, he's done very well there. Breaks away and then no one could catch him. Simply too fast. Yeah, I think you're right, Justin. We're ready for the conversion attempt. Shot to come from way out wide. Tough kick here for two points. Kick now. Probably just sailing wide. Just wide. Even the best of them miss from that wide out, so he won't be disappointed with that. A short kick. Too powerful for that defender. Good, strong run. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. Reed picks it up. Liam Messam is pushed back in a great tackle. He spreads it. Smith shows his pace. And he's knocked over the line. Adams stretching up. Edwards pushes it on. Advantage. A forward pass. So they'll come back for the scrum. Things just not going right for them there, and the mistake came as a result. Here's the scrum. The Find. scrum is pretty tight in this game. No one will give an inch Set. here. New Zealand get a good hit on here. 
ball is out now. Aaron Smith off the bat. Nanu charges forward. Oh, and a penalty right on their own line. And that's a bad mistake from the skipper. The tackle was a bit high. Now look for the three, this to put them further ahead. They're going to have a crack here by the look of it. With the scores this close, it makes sense. He's just dragged this one away. And that's gone dead. Oh, they've only got a few minutes to make something. Edwards gets us going again from the 22 metre line. Julian Savia takes it over the halfway line. Kevin Neilan finding top gear. Trying to turn it over quickly. Liam Messam picks it out of the back. And the ball lost forward. So he's playing advantage here. It's always frustrating when you give away a knock on this bow. He'll not be happy with himself. Brought down dangerously close to his own goal line there. So just a few minutes remaining here. And they'll come back for the scrum. Crouch. Let's see how the scrum responds here. Find pretty useful scrum. It's been pretty much Set. even Stevens in that department. This match just about over here. Furious looking scrum down there. Good pushing from both teams. Davis picks up. That's the ball out there. More bounds. They've got control of this as they look to do something with this ball. Lovely tackle. Abbott's release. He's got to let it go now. The ball is set up in the ruck. And they drive him into the ground. I believe they've kept this for USA. Davis bursting through with that run. And a good show of strength there to beat the tackle. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. He pushes the pass further. And he's driven backwards now. He makes a dart from the back. A feeling they're going to lose the ball here. Tackle not complete. Keeps going. And it's all over. The All Blacks leap in the air. They have the victory. The All Blacks have finished too well. What an impressive match it was. Both teams fought hard and were very evenly matched. But in the end, there could only be one winner. They controlled territory well. They made plenty of gains without being pegged back. The stats show a slight lean in possession. While we know there's never a foregone conclusion in rugby, this result is pretty much as we predicted it. This has been a tight contest here, a very good match. The All Blacks have the victory. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.